family and friends, what a beautiful afternoon we have for this most wonderful occasion as we gather here at the Grand Prairie National Historic Site. We, of course, can appreciate how much it means to the Pubnico family to be able to come to this place of Acadian origins and background and in the beautiful setting. Perfect weather for it and we're all here as family and friends to rejoice together. Welcome or invite yeah, all of you to uh, who are guests to be seated and to relax and except the folks who don't have their chairs you might want to remain standing. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are met together in the sight of God and in the presence of all of us as witnesses to join together Nicholas Lance Harris and Courtney J. Wyman in the bonds of holy matrimony according to the ordinance of God, the custom of the Christian Church, and the laws of Nova Scotia, and to implore on their behalf the blessing of God. And now a very important moment in our service when I ask the basic question, to start with, who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Thank you, Father. You may collapse into your seat. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, do you take Courtney to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto her so long as you both shall live? And Courtney, do you take Nick to be your wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance and the holy estate of marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto him so long as you both shall live? I do. Wonderful answers to the basic questions here. This afternoon. Not surprising, but it is uh, always delightful to hear that affirmation made in front of witnesses who are so supportive. Courtney, today I take you to be my wife and to build a life together full of love and happiness. 
I promise to you that I always believe in you, the person you will grow to become, and the couple we will be together. To love and to care for you, and to always be faithful to you. I promise I will always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving, and to always give you my best. I will always be a loving friend and partner, and promise to always be a listening ear when you've had a rough day. I promise to share you my hopes, thoughts, and dreams as we go and build our lives together. I love you, and I can't wait to see where this life takes us. How do you write a paragraph to express your love for someone as special as you? when the words of a Google search or a country song are never good enough. <laughs> when there is so much to say that your heart cannot put your feelings into words. So my vows to you are more than just the words written on this paper. I promise to show you a lifetime of love that is sustained by action, a pattern of devotion in the things we do for each other every day. I vow to be faithfully yours, to love you in all forms, Sorry. and to stand by you in every stage of life. I promise to help you love life, take risks, and pursue your dreams with passion and integrity. Today I pledge my everlasting love for you. Nick, as you give Courtney this ring, you can say to her, Courtney, I give you this ring. Courtney, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. As the bride gives this ring to her beloved groom, she says, Nick, I give you this ring. Nick, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. Hey. And now it is my delight and honor over the generation over the generations again to now make this declaration of marriage. For as much as Nicholas Lance Harris and Courtney Jade Wyman have consented together in wedlock and have pledged their commitment to each other in the sight of God and in the presence of all of us here as witnesses this afternoon. They've confirmed the same by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving and ring. Now therefore, in the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it is my delight to pronounce you husband and wife. I recklessly invite you to seal the vows with a kiss. <laughs> Yet how to do those fancy signatures <laughs> <laughs> and how wonderful to now officially welcome our brand new bride and groom Courtney and Nick
It gives me a chance to tell you both how great I think you are and how much I love you. This toast also allows me to say how delighted I am that Court and Nick chose each other and finally decided to marry. I use the air quotes because I'd like to think that I'm the one responsible for the two of them getting together. I'll let you guys decide. You see, back in 2011, Court invited Nick to East Pumney Cove for the first time. I was in need of a ride, so I asked him to stop in and pick me up. Courtney introduces Nicholas Harris. He shakes my hand. I think, what a respectful young man. After lunch, we proceed to the car to head to Pumney Cove. Nicholas offers me the front seat and hops in the back with Brett. That gesture as well assured me this guy was a keeper. Props to Timbal and Lance, you raised a gentleman. During the drive, Court and I are whispering back and forth about Nick in the front seat as if he couldn't hear us. <laughs> and I asked her if they were boyfriend girlfriend. She shrugs and whispers that she doesn't know. Subtlety not being my strong suit, I ask out loud, are you two boyfriend girlfriend? Court smiles that sweet little angelic innocent smile of hers, looks in the rear view and says, I don't know, are we? Poor Nick is paralyzed, <laughs> like a deer caught in the headlights. He ain't saying nothing. So I decide to help the poor guy out and I declare, yes you are boyfriend and girlfriend. They have been together almost every single day since. So now that all of you know the complete story about how I am responsible for all this love, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please rise and drink with me. dishes, how to do laundry, and how to twist the story so much that it becomes fiction. Um, Nick, your mind will be forever sharp because you will be correcting Courtney for the rest of your life. <laughs> Courtney is very proud to show off the rings she got in university. Um, those rings symbolize six years of her life where she managed to get a nutrition degree, an education degree, juggled many jobs. How many? Like, you've worked at 10 different bars and like, I don't know. She got a lot of jobs. She is a working woman. Um, but most importantly, in those six years, she found a honky tonk and truck driver with a big kind heart and, you know, He's so likable, you know. Georgia and Maggie have crushes on him, even though they might deny it. As for my aunt, I think it's a little more than a crush. So, it's any parents. so Maria, yes, I am single. I heard you were asking about me. My number is 902. Thanks for <laughs> we all gathered here tonight for this happy circumstance where we join Courtney and Nick to celebrate their romance. <laughs> Nicholas is quite the man. Loving him has been real easy. Just promise me 
you won't sell my sister on Kijiji. <laughs> she is not a semi-trailer. She is not a mint-conditioned Polaris. She's not your lawfully wed wife, Courtney Harris. They bought some land and put a house on it. <laughs> they say whatever she wants. He better get right on it. <laughs> but unless she wants microfiber and he wants leather, just remember, it don't matter as long as you're together. <laughs> Sincerely, your annoying little brother. I've known Nick and been around the Harris family since we were five years old. Play ball together, beavers together, um, scouts, the whole works. First off, on behalf of the wedding party, I'd like to thank Nick and Courtney for asking us to be a part of their special day. Courtney, I know it must have been tough <coughs> to narrow it down to those three beautiful ladies over there. Um, you're such a great friend with so many people. Um, Nick, I'm still waiting for the hundred bucks you said you'd give me for coming. <laughs> I went to school together, worked together, and then we'd hang out after work together. Come to think of it, I'm surprised I'm not in that white dress beside you. <laughs> I still remember the day Nick first told me about Courtney. He said he started seeing this girl from Pubnico, and that she was absolutely perfect. My first thought was, where in the hell is Pubnico? <laughs> One day Nick called me up, and he said, Lucas, I'm going to ask Courtney to marry me. What do you think? And I said, I thought, for, I thought for a moment, and said, you know what? I haven't been, good, good, been to a good party in a while, so let's do it. <laughs> uh, just kidding. What I actually said to him was, Nick, you and I have both seen this coming for a long time. You guys are absolutely in love. I've never seen you this happy, ever. He said to me, Lucas, she's the girl for me, and I want to build a life with her. And you guys are doing just that. You have your house being finished here in the next few months. Your careers are in full swing, as long as Lance gets that promotion you talked about. <laughs> and I see the excitement in both of your faces. Again, I'd like to thank you for including me in your special day. I'm so honored and proud to be a part of this day. Part of this day. I've had for everyone here, I'd like to wish you both many years of happiness, love, and laughter together. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Harris. I've been friends with Courtney for a very long time, since elementary school. She was the uh, East Sider, because Pumniko, of all places, has, you know, it's, it's small, but there's two sides, the West and the East. So I found the East Sider. We went and played often on East Side, so I spent most of my days there. And Courtney's always been there for me through everything. And she's always been the type of friend that will do anything for you. No matter what, no matter what she was doing, she'd drop anything. We spent most of our childhood playing hockey, going on any type of adventure we could find. I don't know if we were annoyed of the little brother and we had to leave the house, or if it was just that we needed to get in a little bit of trouble. Sorry, mom and dad, if you knew anything. It was, we, we probably wouldn't be here with me here if you knew all of the stories. So we'll, we'll not repeat most of them. And when I met Nick, I knew right away that he could tolerate her princess-like ways. <laughs> Timble and Lance, you raised such a nice young man, and I knew right away from the first minute that he was a gentleman, and that's what Courtney needed, and she found him, and she always said she would. So I'm so proud that I am here today. Thank you very much for having me here. And the two other girls, I'm sure we're very happy to all be here. And I thank you very much. Cheers. I've been blessed with a beautiful family. A daughter, Olivia, son, Nicholas, and now an additional daughter, Courtney. It's amazing how marriage makes one family grow and create new branches to a family tree. It seems like only yesterday, Timbo informed me that she was expecting. My first thought was, I was still a kid myself. How did we get from Bernie underwear to this celebration? Nick, words cannot describe how proud I am of you. A father could not ask for a more loving or caring son. 
I'm a lucky father as I get to work with you every day, which ensures our continued relationship and friendship in the future. Jeff and Mary, thank you. Thank you for building the character into such a fine young woman. We've enjoyed getting to know Courtney over the past seven years, and we're extremely excited to welcome her into our family. Let's not take the celebration for granted, as not only today, but tomorrow, and in the future, they will continue to need our love, support, and guidance. I'd like to thank everyone that has had a hand in making a celebration a reality. To those of you that have traveled a great distance, and to those of you close by, please join me in a toast to the bride and the groom and to a life of love and happiness. It all started on December 19, 1991. And please don't interrupt me. I'm time constrained. I only got 29 minutes. So. <laughs> if you have to use the bathroom, take a nap, have a smoke, now's the time to do it. The doctor says, well, we've waited long enough. I think I'm going to have to cut you. Mary says, you ain't cutting me. <laughs> and at 719, Corny come out. <laughs> and I thought that day, when do I get the chance to walk her down the aisle? So, it was 26 years later, I guess, so that was already. Take pictures of her by a bra in the woods, whatever, and everybody would comment how good her pictures were, so. I guess that's where Courtney fell in love with being the center of attention. <laughs> so, if you see the photographer going around and she's gonna take your picture, please make sure Courtney's in it. Because <laughs> she will push a little kid out into traffic to get in the picture. So it wasn't long. She said, called me up, said, Dad, I met a guy. I said, oh, okay. And being the protective father I am, you know, I'm just saying, yeah. I say, where is he from? Oh, he's from the valley. Okay. Straight one. <laughs> Is he a jock? No. Uh, okay, strike two. <laughs> anyway, so uh, she said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him down." So I said, "Okay." So we meet Nick. Oh. And you fell in love. Well, uh, <laughs> most of Courtney's friends fell in love, and meaning my uh, sisters and. <laughs> Oh, my friends my age. Uh, so, I'm surprised uh, you guys are sitting up there. But anyway. So, I met him and I said, wow, geez. She picked out a guy who looks just like her father. He can't be all that bad. So, of course, there was no hesitation. I gave my blessing, of course, which I didn't think he needed, but he asked, and uh, I I'm so glad he did. So, he said, keep it a secret. Because I asked, like, you know, when are you going to ask him? And, uh, or ask her, sorry. And he said, well, I'm not sure. So, this was on a Sunday when they left home. Monday morning, I get a text, and uh, Courtney's, Courtney said, uh, Dad, or actually she called me, sorry, Dad, Nick proposed. And I said, oh, okay. Well, that night before Nick and Courtney left, I uh, told Brett, and I said, well, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. But. <laughs> 
Of course I did. I told him to be quiet, but if he's anything like me, well, that's, that's not going to happen. So when I told Brad, I said, well, Nick's going to propose to Courtney. And Brett jumped up in the air, clicked his heel three times, and woo! He started bumping his fist. And I said, Brett, he proposed to Courtney, not you. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys are together. Um, Nick, your family is awesome. It's been great to meet everybody. Uh, you're a special kind of person, and my daughter is very lucky to be your wife.